It's time for Florida State basketball. This is the Leonard Hamilton Show. Brought to you by SunTrust. Learn how SunTrust can help you live for your sunny day at suntrust.com slash my sunny day. And by Coke Zero. You don't know zero till you try it. Now your hosts, Gene Deckeroff and head coach Leonard Hamilton. Welcome to the Leonard Hamilton Show. Today we talk Florida State basketball with head coach Leonard Hamilton and coach ACC play. We're almost halfway through, in fact, a little more than halfway through the month of January, and we're right in the middle of things. It is uh, Rock'em Sock'em has gotten off to a, a very furious start. You have a lot of upsets. You have a lot of people who are really playing exceptionally well, some surprises. Uh, but I think it's just the beginning of what's going to be an exciting ACC race. Leonard, as you look at the schedule, you say, well, ranked team and then another ranked team and <laughs> another ranked team uh, this past week now. We're going to have highlights of Florida State's huge win over Virginia. Then we go on the road to play another ranked team, and the Louisville Cardinals sort of take us out to the woodshed. But every time you look at the schedule, we're playing a ranked basketball team. Well, that's life in the ACC. This is an outstanding league. Every night out, you got a tough game. But it's exciting for the fans uh, that love ACC basketball. It's really, really exciting for the players. Highlights of Florida State versus Virginia at the Tucker Center. Highlights of Florida State and the KFC Yum Center. Our first trip to the Yum Center, and we won't forget it. Florida State basketball on the menu today. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Leonard Hamilton Show. We promised you a lot of basketball highlights today, and we've got some good ones coming up on today's show, and particularly with a home game at the Tucker Center Coach. 9,200 fans. The place was rocking, and 13th-ranked Virginia comes to town. We haven't had very many home games this year, and uh, so to get home and play against a, a, a very good basketball team with a great home crowd was, was very good for our team. Sunday evening, Florida State taking on the Virginia Cavaliers at the Tucker Center. It was the only game in the ACC on Sunday, so we steal the spotlight. And, Coach, we're going to put on quite a show. And the young freshmen really love playing in front of that home crowd. Well, there's no doubt that we got off to an early start. We didn't dig a hole for ourselves like some of the games we've, we've had in the past. You have Dwayne coming out in the fast break. He's very good in transition. He changes directions, and he's long and athletic, and it's really, really good for him. That's Jacquez Smith. You know, slipping on the ball screen and following the game plan, we realized that Virginia did a very good job on ball screens, and he took advantage of that opportunity. Jack was a junior from Haddock, Georgia, and he caps the three-point play the old-fashioned way. And, uh, Coach, we made free throws against Virginia. I believe he was three for three in the first half, and, and he really did a very good job. But here again, here we are getting out in transition. Monte making a great decision, uh, not trying to force the ball. And he's very patient. He's able to get the ball to Booker to finish the layup. Yeah, Devin Booker with a nice little layup. And here's Jarquez Smith again. And uh, he had a phenomenal first half. His best first half of basketball this season, I believe. No doubt about that. We just need him to be more consistent, uh, have a little more confidence, and not allow things in the game to, to affect him. Yeah, when you can uh, make three-point plays and three-point plays, your uh, scoring is going to be very good. And, uh, Coach, in the half court, you commented on this, that we moved the ball around and got the open look for the basket. Well, there's no doubt that this was uh, one of our better games uh, uh, with a better understanding of how to move the ball, how to make the extra pass. And you see uh, Dwayne uh, getting the benefit of uh, Monte penetrating and giving him a good assist. 18 points, 9 rebounds for Dwayne Bacon. By the way, a feature coming up later on on today's show of Dwayne. How about this guy hooked there by Jacquez? Does he work with that in practice? Well, Jacquez has an awful lot of talent, and, and he's beginning now to, to figure out who he really is. The distribution to the corner. Now, this was a huge basket just before halftime. How important was that three-point shot by Malik? It's very important because they had had a little run on us. They had uh, sort of head, and his ex seeing the whole floor and getting the ball to our best outside shooter with only three or four seconds running down. And in a game like that, that momentum going into halftime was, was very important. Instead of going down 28-22, we go down 28-25. And Coach, same spot, different end of the court, Malik Beasley. But once again, that's the team. his teammates looking for him. Dwayne penetrated into the lane, sucked the defense, and got a, a, a great shot, a great look for Malik. That basket tied the game, and uh, here's another Malik Beasley. He seemed to really get hot there in the second half, Coach. Well, here again, it's a nip and tuck game. You're playing against a great team, and he, he got right into the 15-foot uh, the uh, area and pulled up and got a great shot. Now, you see a lot of zone and some man-to-man -man defense out of it. They mix their defenses up, and this young team had to read those defensive changes, didn't well, they? Well, you, you see the score here is 36-36 with 12 minutes to go. The game could have gone either way, uh, here, but it's important that we take advantage of each one of these opportunities. And, you got Malik now with another standing jump shot. And those types of 
uh, 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 communication with the teammates give you the highest percentage shots. Yeah, tie game, two point lead, tie game, three point deficit, tie game. It's a, like you say, a nip or tuck game. Malik Beasley, three for three from beyond the line. You, you take that every night of the week, wouldn't you? That was uh, Terrence Mann driving the ball to the basket. I'm looking out on the floor there, and we have three freshmen on the floor once again. Uh, that just shows that uh, these guys are really, really coming together as a team. Devin Booker got hot. Uh, I'll tell you what, when you need a three-point shot, Devin delivers. He's two of three from beyond the arc of this ballgame. It all adds up to a Florida State one over Virginia. That was a very important shot by X. Uh, one second on the shot clock, we ran an out-of-bounds play. And, and that was a huge momentum builder for us. Uh, with, with very little time on the clock. Yeah, watch it again. See the one second on the shot clock? The shot got away. They had to review this thing, but he got the shot off in time. No doubt and about it. That's no. a big time shot. Big time it's shot and a very important part of the game. How strong is Dwayne Bacon, coach? Not many guys could do what he just did. Well, that was a big shot for him. He, they were hanging all over him, and uh, he's, he, he got low. He powered through the contact and, and gave us a big lift. And once again, the games are very, very close. 18 points, nine rebounds, and again, he could really attack the basket from that win. Well, that was a very, another big shot we had to have. The games could have gone either way because Dwayne did a great job. We get our longest lead there at eight and XRM top of the circle. They get close, they get within three, and he delivers a three-point shot. Well, this is a team that really is executing, uh, taking high percentage shots, uh, playing well together, executing the offense to perfection. Uh, once again, it's a four-point game. And, we get another big shot out of the corner. Look at that Seminole bench react to that Devin Booker three bomb. I, he almost stepped on your toe, Coach. He shot from so far out. Watch it again. I think he stepped on your toe. <laughs> Dwayne Bacon, uh, uh, again, this is a, a, a freshman that has just got tremendous future ahead. And right now, the president is very important to him, too. He's, he's a leader on this team as he goes. Well, there, there's no doubt that uh, this team played with a lot more confidence during this game. They executed very well. They really got involved and communicated very well. Uh, this is what you like to see your team growing into. Uh, that was a very big win for us, a very important game, stopped us, gave us a little momentum as we moved through the remainder of the season. Coach, we shoot almost 50% against one of the best defensive teams in college basketball. Virginia, always tough to play in the half-court sets particularly. Well, we scored 44 points in the second yeah. half. Well, it's unusual to shoot 63% uh, field goal percentage in any half against Virginia. And, the, the, the second half, we were able to execute and get high percentage shots. Florida State beats the Virginia Cavaliers, and uh, we take them to the Tucker Center and show them how the game is played in Tallahassee, Florida. Coach, a tremendous win against a ranked team, something that we really needed at this point in the schedule. No doubt about that. Florida State beats Virginia. Up next, we'll have highlights of Florida State versus the Louisville Cardinals, another ranked team on our schedule. We have to play at their place. Between now and then, a chance to visit with Dwayne Bacon. Dwayne Hurt has that interview coming up in just a moment. Welcome back to the Leonard Hamilton Show. We're talking Florida State basketball. Uh, and Coach, uh, after watching the highlights of that Virginia game, I'd like to go back and watch those again. But we've got to move on. And uh, generally, this time in our show, we try to feature a Florida State player. And uh, today, it's freshman Dwayne Bacon. He wears number four proudly. Coach, he's a tremendous young man. No doubt about that. He's making progress each and every day. We're very proud of the of what he has become. He's becoming more and more of a leader on our basketball team. And that's unusual for a freshman. We like to ask this one to athletes. Do you remember your first game? Uh, no, I don't. I don't remember my first basketball game at all. It's kind of weird, but I know it's something that you're supposed to remember, but I don't remember at all. When did you start playing? Uh, I started playing basketball about ninth grade. I started sixth grade, fifth grade, but I wasn't really that good as I thought I, I could be. And as an eighth grade, I got a lot better. And uh, ninth grade, I got a lot better. And uh, I just really picked it up in eighth and ninth grade. When did you realize this could actually be a future for you? Um, I, I, I would say about the end of eighth grade going into my ninth grade year. Uh, I just, I, I was I was a better competitor. I was a better, like, had a better understanding of the game and I just wanted to play basketball. I, I, I stopped every all my other sports for that time and I just wanted to get better in basketball as much as I could. What was it like when offers started coming in? It's like, oh, this is cool, and then you get more. And yeah, more it was, it was more. something that I didn't, I wasn't used to, I didn't know about. So it was just like, dang, like, I got offers from colleges and 
And before that, I ne never even had plans of going to college uh, because it's just, I was young and I didn't know what I was, I didn't know what, what college was. Now you said before, Coach CY started, got on you really early when he was at Georgia, Georgia Southern. He comes to Florida State, stays on you. What was that, that bond like with you guys? Uh, it was just, a, uh, he treated me like a son. Uh, he was always there for me when I needed him. Uh, always came to see me at, at, at McKill. Always came to see me whatever school I went to. And uh, he just stayed with me no matter what. He never, never changed his mind about me and, and I liked it that. Now, as far as Florida State con is concerned, you know, you mentioned CY. Why else was, was Florida State the right place for you? Uh, coach, coach him, he was just honest to me. Um, he also recruited me at it when, when I was in eighth grade before nobody even knew about me as well as CY. And it was just them two that, that when they got together, I knew I had to be here with them because it was just, it was just a relationship that you can't get anywhere else. It's two coaches that really care about you and, uh, and I, I liked that. All right, I know family is important to you as well. Tell me about your family. Uh, on my mom's side, I have three brothers and one sister. And then on my dad's side, I have one brother and one sister. And he's actually married. But my mom is a single parent. Um, she's my heart. I have her tattoo right here on my, on my arm. And uh, I just try to do everything to make her happy, make my dad happy too. But it's just all about making her happy because she's the lady in, the, in, 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 you know, in my life. Now, a lot of fanfare with, with, with you coming to Florida State. Got a lot of people excited. Have you seen the guys in the bacon costumes uh, at games? Yeah, I see, I see them, and I actually love that. That's 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 it's just something that gets me hyped. Like, gosh, I, I didn't even know they made bacon costumes, so I'm trying to get one. If anybody know where they at, and I'm sure not the first time someone's done something bacon related with your actually, name. Actually, it, 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 it's not the first time they did something related, but it's the first time I actually seen someone dress up in bacon. All right, last one. In five years, Dwayne Bacon will be five years. I would say the NBA. Five years, that's a great, that's a great time. That's, that's enough time to finish school. So I would say the NBA. It uh, doesn't matter what team, just playing and uh, doing what's best for me. Welcome back to the Leonard Hamilton Show. Always great, uh, the, the, the features that we have, Coach, and a chance for us to get up close and personal with Dwayne Baker just a moment ago. And boy, I tell you what, I, I love watching him play basketball. <laughs> well, he's going to be a great player for us as we move through the remainder of the season because he's got an outstanding start. And speaking of Dwayne Bacon, uh, he's going to record his second career double-double in a venue that's very tough to go in and play, particularly for a young player like Dwayne is and his young teammates. We invade the KFC Yum Center for the first time, Coach. We used to play in Freedom Hall up in Louisville. That Yum Center Center is a pretty nice venue. Well, it's a beautiful facility. There's no doubt that it's probably the best basketball facility in our conference. Uh, maybe it might not be the largest, but it's definitely first class. Yeah, seats 22,000. And Malik Beasley, we'll watch this highlight. That's our first basket of the ball game. Speaking about freshmen going in un uh, unintimidated, the, the, the freshmen really enjoy playing this game. Well, we, this is not one of our better games, there's no doubt about that. We just didn't seem to have it in this particular game. We, we couldn't find enough consistent, good offensive opportunities. And defensively, we wasn't as bad from a statistical standpoint. We just had a hard time uh, getting stops. There's that extra pass coach, Benji Bell, with a triple from the deep corner. You'd like to see a few more of those out of Benji. Well, Benji's a, a very savvy player. There's no doubt that he is really, really is contributing. Our players enjoy playing with him. Terrence Mann, another freshman coach. You look at the court, how many freshmen you got out there? About four or five right now? <laughs> well, well, I don't know, but, you know, they're, they're growing up, and it's not necessarily, uh, they don't always play like freshmen, but this is part of who we are this particular year, and we just got to keep working and helping, hopefully, and continue to improve. Terrence Mann with a nice little assist, a three-point play capped by Malik Beasley, who for the 18th game in his young career scores double figures. Another nice transition basket. There's no doubt that we are probably uh, as strong in transition as, as any part of our game. It's just that we're not as consistent uh, with, with our execution, but we are getting better. 
Devin Booker, the senior, he gives you that leadership coach, and he's deadly when he gets it inside that free, free throw line area, and that's a nice little 17-foot jump shot. Coach, we never had a lead in this game, but we never surrendered. We never threw in the towel. We kept fighting from start to finish. Well, we we didn't shoot very well from the free throw line. That was We are one of the better free throw shooting teams in the ACC. It's just one of those nights where it seemed like we just couldn't buy a basket from the free throw line. Yeah, Louisville uh, changing their defenses around in the uh, combination. You mentioned that in the pregame show. They're going to change defenses around. So how did you feel your team? responded to those defensive changes? I, I thought it made us somewhat tentative. I, I didn't think that we played with the same level of aggressiveness uh, as we had in some of the other games. It's a six-point game, and we missed three one in one, front end of one and ones uh, that maybe basically the game could have been tied at this point. And we just we just couldn't get any, any consistency from the free throw line or, or anywhere else for that matter. Soft little jump shot, a little step back jump shot by Malik Beasley again. Malik Beasley leads us with 23 points in this ball game, coach, and uh, he's a 20 point game waiting to happen every night. Isn't he? Well, there's no doubt that he 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 did a, a very good job. He is father of the basket. He's kind of like keeping us in the game all by himself. Yeah, and that was a nice stick back off a missed shot, and uh, here we are again in transition. A, a, a great effort on the stick back by Dwayne Bacon. And again, we talked about this in the beginning. He is very physical and attacks the basket about as well as any, any player I've seen at Florida State. Well, there's no doubt that we had had good moments, but be very honest with you. I, I was very disappointed with our overall effort and level of concentration sticking with the game plan. But there are a lot of things, but I think when we go back and watch the film, I think the guys are, are realizing you know, that we could be a, a better basketball team than what we showed in, in Louisville. We did not shoot from the free throw line very well, Coach. And, uh, again, we, we attacked in our half-court offense the way you want us to attack. Them. Well, here again, it, it's easy to find some good parts in here, but the bottom line is that this wasn't one of our better games, and hopefully we learn and grow from it. Chris Kubajay had a nice game, didn't he? Well, he came off the bench, gave us some energy. Uh, he's still learning and growing. Uh, he's a guy who, who has the least experience of anybody on our team. But here again, here he is now getting a rebound and a nice little jump hook. Uh, we got to keep working with him. He's coming around, and hopefully before his career is over, people will really, really be excited about what he's capable of doing. How about this pass inside? Malik Beasley gets the harm, and uh, free throw coming for Malik Beasley. Again, 23 points for him. Chris Kumajay had five points, three rebounds, two block shots in the game. Big seven-foot, four-inch kid. Well, there's no doubt that he gave us he gave us a lift while he was in the game. Uh, it was not a very good game for for Boris and, and uh, Jacquez, uh, he, he came in and gave us some energy, and hopefully that's, that's just the beginning of more to come. And we'll watch Devin Booker again, his first and uh, last trip to the Yum Center. He's a senior, but uh, he continues to knock down. The, and I know that earlier this season he had a wrist injury, but it looks like it's healed and he's ready to fire away from distance. Well, we, we kept fighting. We kept fighting to the end. Uh, I, I like the fact that we didn't, we didn't back down and we didn't. We didn't give up, so I, I thought our guys just we still played hard, played aggressive, uh, but we just came up a little short against a very good uh, Louisville team. Devin Booker, four of six from beyond the arc, and he has the steal here. A couple of steals in the ball game. He's had a steal in every game this season, and he turns defense into offense. It's the end of the ball game. We got less than 30 seconds to go. It's a matter of margin here, but again, the guys kept on fighting, coach. There's no doubt that we 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 still are growing up. We have a lot of youth on our basketball team, and we're growing, and I think we're getting better with each game. I was very disappointed. We see where we shot 42 percent from the free throw line, and we uh, for a year for the only year we shooting over 70 some percent. It was just one of those games where. This didn't seem to get anything to go right for us in this particular game. Free throw shooting, probably the Achilles heel, and you can put your foot. We got the one and one with about eight minutes to go <laughs> in the first half, and we missed the front side of three in a row. That's got to be frustrating. Well, we, we left a lot of points on, 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 the, on the floor. There's no doubt about that. But we got to put this game behind us. We got to learn from it, I learn from my shortcomings, evaluate it, because we have a, a pick game coming up this Saturday. That's one thing good about the ACC. You don't have a chance to, to feel sorry for yourself very long. You just got to get right back in the saddle and get ready for another outstanding national ranked opponent. Speaking of Pitt, we'll talk about the Panthers. That's our next opponent. We play at 4 o'clock at the Tucker Center on Saturday. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Welcome back to our show. We're talking Florida State basketball. And Coach, uh, not much time left of the show. We've got Pittsburgh coming to the Tucker Center. And uh, after spending almost the entire month of January on the road, we finally get a home game. <laughs> we, have, we haven't had very many home games. There's no doubt about that. But hopefully that will pay dividends on, on the back end of our schedule. But we do have a very 
na a good nationally ranked pit team coming in Saturday, and, and we need our fans to be in the stands to, to help give us a little boost. NCAA all-time career leader and assist to turnover ratio is coming to town. He's, hey, James, how long has James Robinson been playing at Pittsburgh? Coach, seven years, eight? Well, he, he's doing a great job for them. He's their leader, and everything goes through James Robinson. Florida State versus Pittsburgh, the Tucker Center, tip-off at 4 o'clock. We hope to see you there. And... If you can't be there, join us next week, same time, same station, for the Leonard Hamilton Show. Coach, let's go get Pittsburgh. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> We're all ready. Let's go get Pitt, okay? That's our show for today. Thanks for joining us, and go Knowles. This has been the Leonard Hamilton Show, brought to you by SunTrust. Learn how SunTrust can help you live for your sunny day at suntrust.com slash mysunnyday. And by Coke Zero. You don't know Zero till you've tried it.